another story, have you? Well, why don't you stay a while and listen? Did you know that once upon a time, gold was called the Otter's Ransom? Strange thing to call gold, I think. But I'll tell you how that came to pass. Now, once upon a time, Odin, Hermer, and Loki was out traveling the world. They wanted to learn more about it. And during their travels, they came upon this great big waterfall, and they saw this giant otter just as it caught a salmon. Loki, thinking quick on his feet, grabbed the stone, hurled it towards the otter, striking him in the head, killing him instantly. Loki was so pleased with himself, he went over, grabbed the otter and the salmon, and said, Look, I caught an otter and the salmon with just one stone. Beat that, Odin. Odin and Hörner just shake their heads. And they continued their travels. Now, later that evening, when it started to darken, just as it is now, they came upon a house, and they wanted to see if they could spend the night there. So they went up and knocked on the door, and a man opened. And it turns out there was a man called Hreidmar, and he lived there with his sons, Fafnir and Regi. And they entered inside, and the gods, they thought it would only be polite to share in their plentiful bounty. So they offered to share the otter and the salmon with Hreidmar and his sons, as thank you for letting them spend the night. As soon as Raidmar saw the otter, he called for his sons. Fafnir and Regin then came, and Raidmar, he said, Look, my sons, they have slain your brother Otter while he was shifted. Grab them! So they grabbed the gods, put them in chairs, and tied them down. Raidmar, he skinned Otter and made a huge bag out of his skin. And he turned to the gods, and then he said, As compensation, as ransom for killing my son, I demand enough gold to fill this bag, and then enough gold to completely cover it on the outside. If I see a single whisker, the deal is off. Hold it turned to Loki and said, Loki, you must travel to Svartalfheim and find the dwarf Andvari. Only he will have enough gold to satisfy Raidmar. So they turned Loki loose. <laughs> I know, always a bad idea. But you'll see. And Loki traveled to Svartalfheim, where the Svartalvir lives. Uh, these days we call them dwarves. It took him a while, but eventually he found Andvari's forge. And as soon as Andvari saw Loki, he knew that this would only bring trouble. So he ran towards the river, jumped into the river, and while he was in the air, he changed his shape into a salmon and started to swim away. But Loki, he is fast. So he ran after him, dove in, swam after him, managed to grab him, dragged him out of the river, held him in his hands, and he said to Andvari, No, no, Andvari, be nice. If you don't give me all the gold you have, <laughs> I will break your spine. Andvari had no choice. His life was literally in Loki's hands. So they went back to the forge and started to gather all of the gold Andvari had. But Loki, he saw a glint of gold in Andvari's hands. It was Andvari's golden ring. With that ring, he could make as much gold as he ever would want. Now, now, Andvari, hand it over. You know I said I wanted all of your gold. He gave it over. No, I beg you, Loki, please. With this gold, I can re 
it was this golden ring I can replace all the gold you take. Please let me keep it. It is precious to me. But Loki, he insisted. So he grabbed the ring, all the gold, and then he started to leave. As Loki was leaving, Andvari cursed the gold and the ring. He said, A curse upon the gold. Any man that claims it will forfeit his life. This I, Andvari the dwarf, swears. <laughs> Loki left with a smirk on his lips and a laughter in his heart. He came back to Raidmar, and he deposited all of the gold. Now he had kept the ring for himself, because it was actually quite pretty. Raidmar, he started to fill the bag with gold, and it was completely full. He set it down so it stood upright, topped it off, and started to pile the rest of the gold outside of the bag. When he had used all of the gold, they could see a single whisker sticking out. Raidmar shook his head. This is not enough. I said if I saw a single whisker, the deal is off. Loki took out the ring, placed it over the whisker and covered it. There, you have your gold. Now let us go. So Raidmar released the gods and off they went. Now, Raidmar's sons, Fafnir and Regin, they, of course, wanted their own share of the, this big treasure, but Raidmar, he refused. This is my gold. It was my son that was killed. Now, Fafnir had always had greed in his heart. So he jumped his father, grabbed the hold of his throat, and started to squeeze the life out of him. He killed his own father for, for the gold. The gold that Raidmar had Raidmar took his father's helm, put it on him, and claimed his sword as well. Now Regin, he wanted the gold, a share of his gold as well, of course. But Fafnir, he said, if you do not flee right this instant, you will meet the same fate as our father. So he fled. Fafnir took the gold, and he traveled to this place called Gnitahi. It's a big canyon. And in the bottom of this canyon, there's a cave. Fafnir, he took all of his gold, piled it up inside that cave, put the ring upon himself, and then went to sleep on top of the gold. Over the years, little by little, slowly but surely, Fafnir turned into a dragon. Well, now you know why, once upon a time, gold was called the Otter's Ransom. Now, the story isn't actually over here, but you will have to come back and listen to the next part some other time. Thank you for listening.